from fighting monsters to fighting terrorism, there's no shortage of military flicks in Hollywood. To, to what extent, though, should the U.S. military be put on the silver screen? We'll debate that question later on in tonight's Fox Files. With all the plans for road trips and barbecues, we can sometimes forget the true meaning of the Memorial Day holiday. While the day is meant to honor the men and women who've given their lives in service to our country, one group has taken this week to honor veterans who've nearly given their lives. This is the one time that they get to go fishing and they look forward to this event every year. It was started 12 years ago by the late Joel Niemeyer. Our veterans have given so much for us, and if this is something that we can do for them, whether you know it's two days of fishing and just to see the smiles on their faces when they come off. Disabled participants are paired with retired firefighters. The firefighters provide the boats and equipment, and these men get two days on the Missouri. A flag flying on each boat. The tournament is meant for disabled veterans, but the Paralyzed Veterans of America North Central chapter does make a few exceptions. For instance, the late Niemeyer's best friend. Yeah, he got it started and did a lot for the handicapped community. Dennis Thiel isn't a veteran, but does use a power chair. It's the only time I ever get to come out fishing hardly at all, and the PVA and the firefighters do this for us every year, and it's just... I look forward to it every year. Minds seem at ease. Old stories get retold. Now I hear him hollering for sunscreen all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but the water. The fish. Uh, yeah. I don't think he's got the energy to get out of it anymore. Yeah, it looks like a flatty, you know? And some good company. Yeah, Ryan uh, told that story for uh, quite a while. called the Muddy Bottom Boys. <laughs> <laughs> I used to go all the time before I had my accident. And I miss it a lot, so... Just to be able to get out these two days means so much to me that I couldn't even explain it. The two-day tournament did wrap up today. It's 39 participants coming from all over the Dakotas, Minnesota, even Iowa. PBA's North Central Chapter says this tournament has grown and they're looking to continue that. So if you know of a veteran who may be interested or could just use a couple of days out on the water, you can find contact information for Paralyzed Veterans of America by visiting ncpva.org. Well, 16 Guardsmen put their skills to the test earlier this week as they competed in the National Guard Bureau's Region 6 Best Warrior Competition. The best enlisted soldiers and non-commissioned officers from eight states pushed through a variety of mentally and physically challenging events. M16 rifle marksmanship, written exams, and battle drills were just a few of the tests. Specialist David Noddy of the Montana National Guard won the title of Region 6 Soldier of the Year, and Specialist Elijah Putnam of the Idaho National Guard finished as the runner-up. After edging out 14 other soldiers from around the country, they will advance to compete at the national level competition at Camp Robinson in Little Rock, Arkansas this July. The nation's military honors America's fallen servicemen and women ahead of this Memorial Day. The 3rd U.S. Infantry placed American flags on every grave at Virginia's Arlington Cemetery yesterday. The 3rd Infantry is known as the Old Guard, which was designated as the Army's official ceremonial unit back in 1948. The tradition, known as Flags In, has been conducted on the Thursday before Memorial Day every year since. Every available soldier in the Old Guard participates, placing small American flags one foot in front of each grave marker. There are more than 260,000 gravestones at Arlington, and the ceremony takes approximately three hours.